Hello lovely people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel and to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. It is time guys. I have had these early 20th century Marcel or Wave Curlers uh, since I picked them up at the Classic Car Boot Sale. I will link that up above. I've been wanting to try them for quite a while. So, let's do this. <laughs> what have you got? This one I think is from somewhere from like the 1910s, even maybe late uh, 1890s because they were around since the 1800s. And then uh, this one I think is a bit more like 30s or 40s, much like a curling wand now. So one part gives you the curl, the other part gives you sort of the crimp or the ridge to your curl, which is how you can do a half wave. So I am going to try some of the waving techniques that I've seen online for modern curling irons, but also the instructions that I found online for how to use these. They're largely just pictures. There are a couple of like diagrams that I will share here. It has taken me so long to make this video because I've been trying to figure out how to heat the curlers up and see how to get them to the right temperature. I used to uh, work in another lifetime for GHD and I know that they always say like that hair straighteners and hair curlers should be a maximum of 190 degrees in order to not permanently damage and burn the hair. So I wanted to be very precise because obviously being metal, they could get very, very hot. Uh, some people suggested like a, you know, a thermal gun that like, um, you know, you can point and shoot and test the temperature. Other people suggested, you know, the traditional method of sticking them in the fire. I have seen a lot of videos such as this one that terrify me, that terrify me. I have short hair, so I don't want to stick the curlers into my hair and just like burn my hair off because I haven't got a lot to work with. I suddenly realized if I heat it in the oven, uh, that should work because you can't, whatever is in the oven can't become more hot than the oven itself. So if I set the oven to 180 degrees, technically, the curlers should reach that temperature. I do, I swear, somewhere in the shed, have like a big long piece, a big long plait of my hair when I got the chop after the first lockdown in the UK. So I have this huge length of hair that I kept specifically for things like this. I couldn't find it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna try doing it on a piece of hair under here. So that is the plan. Okay, so I just cleaned the curlers and this is what came off of it after I cleaned it. Like I scrubbed it with one of those metal scourer things a lot. Yeah, like drying it, it just kept coming off with rust bits. So I'm starting to get nervous. I'm just worried about instead of just curling my hair, like things from the metal, like attaching to my hair or like melting onto my hair, I might have a pair of scissors handy in case for some reason they get like stuck, I need to cut them off. Um, yes. Uh. <laughs> so they are in the oven right. What the fuck? What is that smell? I don't know what this smell is, but it smells so toxic. Do you know what it smells like? It smells like crayons, but like, really bad ones <laughs> oh that looks like rust liquid or like that is weird looks like here there's rust and then over here there's like a puddle of oil like there is no way i'm putting that in my hair like no way in hell this is after i've let it cool down a bit like this smelt so bad i think it's the rubber handles it's stuck to the yeah you can see I'm going to turn them around for you guys to look you can see the handles have like they've gone kind of like kind of like white I think because they're very old they're like disintegrating if I pick this one up you can see see the like white there you can kind of see we've got a little bit of reflection on it but there's like white on it I think it's the rubber disintegrating and then there's this awful look at this 
I don't think I should put that anywhere near me. I think maybe someone has oiled these at some point to try and get the rust off and get the like the joints moving again, um, which is what's coming out of them, which I can't really get off properly. Like maybe I could soak them in something, but then I think we're still gonna have the problem with the rubber. So mm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be putting this in my hair. Also, maybe the burnt smell is the oil burning which is probably like super, super bad for me. So that's good. The good news is that there is no damage to the curling irons. I've washed them in cold water. I got them to cool down very quickly just by sticking them under really cold water. I also just wanted the smell to end. There is a little bit, you can see here if I can block it, there is a little bit of whiteness on the handles where they got hot. But I mean, the whole point of this is to insulate the handles because I believe I have seen other people have got like a separate part of the tool, which is like a, a tube. You sit the end in, that you sit the barrel in and then these are left free. But I mean, inevitably being metal, it is metal all the way through. So that would heat up as well. So I imagine that this bit is designed to stop your hand from getting too hot. And I have seen other people place them over like, I guess like a kerosene lamp with two flames that sit underneath the barrel. So that's really cool. It's just so interesting. Like the research behind this was a really fascinating process. I'm just disappointed that I can't try it. So they can continue to adorn my dresser. I may have damaged my lungs permanently and my house might smell like burnt crayon forever, but you know, at least these aren't damaged. So that's a bit, disappointing. That is a bit of an anticlimactic uh, end or result to today's video. I was so excited. My hair's not even done, guys. We've come on the internet without my hair done. It's not the first time, let's face it. At least you guys have seen my adventure with the curlers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like super disappointed because I was really excited to try out the technique for this, but I'm thinking what I might do is get myself some modern curling irons, the ones that have the same shape with the barrel and then the waving arm uh, and try the technique out with that because I really want to see how that works. I've only ever done waving techniques either on a wet hair or a dry hair using bobby pins or wave clips. I've never actually done it with a hot tool before. So Name your sex tape. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video testing out the proper vintage technique uh, that they still use today in hairdressing to do what we now know as Hollywood waves, but it is a Marcel wave. So do let me know in the comments if you would like to see that video instead so we can at least try the technique. So guys, that is the video, even though I didn't actually do any hairstyling in this video. But if you wanna see some content where I do finish what I started and complete some projects and themes. Uh, check out my Patreon, is linked down below. Thank you to those of you who are already signed up and supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And they're just a really beautiful bunch of people. So yeah, I recommend becoming part of the gang. Uh, otherwise, of course, you can follow me on my Instagram and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.